Hello guys, welcome to Toy Kingdom. This is just like the toy level, just like in Sonic Advance 1 and 2, the third level or so is a toy level. In Sonic Advance 1, we got um, the Casino Paradise. In Sonic Advance 2, we got uh, a music level, which I forgot what its name was. And for this game, we have Toy Kingdom. Toy Kingdom Act 1. Okay. Toy Kingdom. This is a fun level, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Um, one thing I will say, guys, I am gonna be showing most of the footage, but if... I mean, like, if it's, if it's footage was, like... was, like, done in a non-game over set of thing, then it will be shown... Or it will not be shown! Crushers are all over this place in this zone, and I'm not gonna survive, that's for sure. But this game is crusher heavy. You gotta memorize the level design. You do not wanna waste too much time not knowing the level design, or else you will die. A lot. Here's another chow, or at least the first chow of this level. This here is so fast, like, you're gonna be- people are gonna be running in here. And if you don't expect that you're gonna get crushed, don't blame me, blame Dimps. Because Dimps really hates you. I try to help her company. I said this for our Sonic Advance 1 and 2, but they need help. They need help to get better games. Sorry if looks like I'm ranting, but both of you who can't even take it anymore, I'm sorry. I mean, like, I, I want to say I like circus levels, but not this type of sense. And what the heck is this pig doing? Is he sucking up my rings? Where are you, a piggy bank? Actually, technically it is a piggy bank, because... Alright, well, technically, rings can be either two things. It could be your health your HP status, or it could be your ring, or like, or it can be your, your currency. Like, it could be both. It could tactically be both. So, either way, when you think about it, like, rings could be either HP, like health, or currency. For, but for this game, it's currency. But it could also be health. Like, rings could be either or. It could be both, even. Like, rings are so inconsistent in the Sonic games. Like, even how you think how it's gonna work, they just, they just put in some plot twist way. And I'm going all the way downwards. Um, by the way, I might as well just say this right now, because I didn't explain this earlier. But, uh, both Jack in the Box things, basically, how they work is... Is, um, if the icon is red, then it will pop out spikes. But if the icon is blue, it will pop out a spring. So you may have noticed that, like, first time around I got a spring, and then second time around I got a spike. Well, that's because there is an I there is an indicator to let you know what is going to be popping around you, or what's going to be popping below you, rather. And, depending on what it is, you're going to go for it. By the way, here, Bombless Pit. Yeah, don't fall for it. That's Bombless Pit. You gotta get, actually have to get used to these little bit of the, of the, uh, of the clinging balls in order to get somewhere. And, not many people will realize this is a bombless pit, because they assume like, oh, okay, well, usually these type of, of, like, rattle things that are just hitting each other, usually there's like a, a flooring or spikes that, okay, I don't mind that, but actually, they did 
They did pull a middle finger here. This is literal spikes. And god, they can be really annoying. Alright, Toy Kingdom Act 2. Here, you know what? I'm gonna go up here. It's important to take the higher route, because it's a higher chance of getting a bombless pit. But of course, knowing this... You taking the highest route will lead you to more crushing. So, you had a choice. You have a choice of either bombless pits or crushing. The choice is yours, and yours alone. Oh god, dodge this. Because you don't want to get crushed. The level design is also copy and paste everywhere. The same crusher from before. Like, we've gone for the same ones already. We don't need another set. And this section with a rattle is hitting back and forth with these spikes. That's, that, was in, that was in a few times in Act 1. They just pretty much copied the same uh, level designs a bit. Because Dimps couldn't come up with... Because Dimps, I guess you could say, for level design for level design standards, I bit my tongue there, um, they could work a little bit more on it. Electric shield. Ah, oh, come on! Usually in the advanced games, like, you don't even need to spin jump in order to get a, get a capsule. You could just land on top of it while falling in a stand pose, and you should be able to get it no problem. But as you can see here, I didn't even get the shield. I could have sworn I would. Gosh darn it. Oh, oh! Oh dear, okay, this is Bomb's Pit, but I need to go up, if I can. Because I am not taking that route. Screw ya. Oh god, oh god. Of course, the same exact one as every other time you're going in there. I want to see how they can make it even much worse. Ah, oh god, oh god, okay, I thought there was a crusher right above me, nope, it's okay, oh god, wait, what, what? Sonic, why are you too slippery, you almost got crushed by hitting the edges. And we're just sliding on a ton of elephants. And... We got our bronze medal, because we didn't go as fast. Um, the medals, how they work is... Um, the faster you beat the level, the higher the... The high, the, the different type of medal you are actually going to get. Because, like, there's a bronze, there's a silver, and there's a gold. And depending on what... And depending on how fast you actually beat the level, is what medal you'll get. And... Sorry guys, as disappointing as it is, this is not a full, a all a rank game. I am not getting all gold medals. I'm just trying to beat the level, show you all I need to do, and finish it up. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna quickly do this mini game, I guess. Okay, let's just 
do this. Alright. Toy Kingdom Act 3. And... Remember, you have to be Sonic and Tails in order to unlock this next character, which, yes, I am doing. Yeah. But what did I do that? Like, if I was gonna land red when I get there... I just fought that for some reason. Do I want to go down? I have to. This crushing idea is all for up roof. Oh great. We cannot we're stuck. We cannot go that way. There's times in this game where you really cannot actually make progress because you need to be a certain type. Because it's also determined on the thing on the top left. Because just like in Sonic Heroes, there's a speed formation, there's a fly formation, and even a power formation. And depending on your partners and your actual main character, you could you could definitely use it. And also, you're going to have to utilize it in order to get certain chow in this game. Because there is some certain chow in this game that you actually need to be a power type to break certain walls in order to have access to. Otherwise, you have to do a second playthrough, which yes, I am doing, to actually get everything. Because, well, this game is all over the place. Screw the idea of going out the window. And I just completely went for opposite the wrong way. Or, heck, there's an arrow to the left, and there's an arrow to the right. Let's try middle. Yeah, that makes the most sense, actually. Gosh darn pay banks. Yeah. All right, so what we do is fight General again. Um, his newest tactic is he is going to be, uh, firing missiles at you, I believe. That should be the new tactic, but I'm not gonna give him damage. Well, otherwise, he's just attacking him normally. Attacking you normally. Well, I died. So, I guess he's just the same as the first one. I'm gonna assume that he doesn't fire his missiles. I'm gonna assume that. just probably a little bit stronger. Just only a few hits to definitely take him out. He isn't that much of a big threat. And he'll just run away. But other than that, we clear the game, clear the level like this, and we'll meet up with our newest character that we just unlocked. Sonic? Uh, Amy! You're going to ask me out? No, no, I'm on my way to... I knew we were meant to be... Together! No, no! No such a thing! Why don't you just admit it? L -l Let's not use the hammer! And you unlocked Amy. The damsel in distress that was available right from the get-go in Sonic Advance 1 and hardly achievably unlockable in Sonic Advance 2. Um, we actually do unlock her earlier in the game, which I find a, a really good balance. And we will actually play as her in the next episode. Which will be part 5, but first we're gonna go ahead and go fight the boss of this world. So... Let's do this. Alright, time for the boss of Toy Kingdom. This could be fun. Anyway, this boss is a jack-in-a-box. 
For this boss, what you must do, you must push Eggman far enough to the right. And Emerald will do one of three different things. One of them is useless, though. But two of them could be useful. But he's gonna fire a missile that actually has him inside and try to land on you to uh, cough you off guard. And, uh, or he'll also grab his wrecking ball to try to push you off. Oh god, I almost fell in the pit. And by the way, the sides here are bombless pit. Or you can do this where he does absolutely nothing and you get really lucky. It's most likely a game of luck. Because Emerald accidentally does a completely different thing that just makes you lose. Well, not makes me lose, makes me laugh at. Um, this boss isn't that much of a pain, but I felt like the army men did a much better job compared to Emerald in this fight. Like, the toy army men is much better at it. I mean, like, if Eggman should definitely hire someone to, uh, to take care of a blue hedgehog that is foiling his plans, He's rich! Buy an army! Not really. He's not rich, but... Oh, come on, he is that close to the edge, and yet he didn't fall yet? How- how is that even possible? How does physics work? Look how- look how far he is to the- to the cliff he is, and yet he didn't fall yet. Physics, how do they work? Not very well. Now you can still die, jump over to Bombless Pit, and you'll be alright. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Toy Kingdom. But of course, just like Sonic Advance 1 and 2, we're gonna assume that the next level is gonna be a snow level. Assumingly. So I'll see you guys next time when we tackle the snow level of this game.